Bloomies are forever. Hello, I am Melissa and this is a nice, long, slow shipping video for you. I sell on eBay part-time and today we are shipping. The number keeps going up. I sold 21 items and 19 of those have been paid for. So, so far, hopefully, I will get 19 items shipped by tomorrow, which is Monday. I think I can do it. I have an extra table set up because I have so many amazing tissue papers, poly mallers, package toppers. My husband and I went to Target's after Christmas sale when everything was 90% off. And oh, I had so much fun. We filled three carts, three carts, and everything was like 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents. So I got a ton of package toppers. Some of these are ornaments, but again, they're not really something that needs to be hung on the Christmas tree. You could put this on a door, you could hang it up somewhere else. I bought a ton of these tiny little, look how cute these are. I'll have to put up the picture of all of all of the things we bought. They're best friends. Hello. I'm a rabbit. I'm a fox. Does it say? These would have been $30, but of course we paid 30 cents. I have a whole bunch of customized letters. This one's a P. T. I've got a bunch of these. I also found these lip balms. And I think I'm okay to ship. It's supposed to be in the mid 80s here in Florida this week. I live in um, Southern Florida, about an hour south of Tampa. So they're little disco balls. They are clearly meant as a holiday ornament, but they have a keychain, so you could put them on your keys and just keep a lip gloss with you. How do these open? There we go. You just twist them open and there is a scented lip balm. Aren't those awesome? So I, I probably have like 40 of those. I have a lot of them. We also have some face masks, some cards, some postcards, um, some nose strips, still some letters. I have just a few of these left. They're basket charms. I think I've got post-it notes. I have hair ties. Put all these little, little creatures back in. I also have a bunch of really pretty ribbon, as well as like five spools of ribbon over there, <laughs> and some new tissue papers that I'm sure you will see along the way. So sit back, lay down, relax, get comfy. Thank you so much for watching. The first item we're going to be shipping sold on eBay yesterday, and it is a Kim Rogers Women's 1X top. Show it to you. This is a lightweight top. It has an ombre from the light pink down to the darker pink, down to almost a coral pink. Really pretty roll tab sleeves. This went for $4.49 plus $4.99 shipping. Now, if you didn't know, I consider eBay more of a part part time <laughs> hobby business. I do have a medical condition that stops me from going full time, but I am doing what I love. You do not have to do this. You do not have to do as I do. I never ding anybody that I purchase from that just ships an item in a package. Nobody else needs to be wrapping up their items, but it is something that I love to do. So I'm going to fold this and I'm going to flip you down so you can see what I see. So now that we have folded this, I'm going to put it in a protective plastic bag. I find these work really well for keeping out rain, snow, scents, any kind of moisture. And clothing you can wash, so it's not necessarily that important. But when you're shipping somebody the item, you do want to get it there safely. paper is my very favorite item. This is the Jilson Roberts dog print. I'm sure they call it something fancier than dog print. So cute. Look how cute that is. Like this. So let's find a matching ribbon. I think 
for the first one, we are going to go with this silver metallic twine somebody sent me. And this is a great option if you do not have a lot of money for packaging, but you want to do something special. Twine curling ribbon is fairly inexpensive, and you can have that chipped if you can't find it at a thrift shop. Another good option is to cut long strips of fabric if you have access to a wide spool of fabric. I'm sure it's not called spool. Whatever those long yard things are they keep in the middle of fabric. A bolt, a bolt of fabric. That's what it's called. I'm going to fold down the back of the tissue paper a little bit. I've been doing this for a little bit and I, I like the way it looks. It looks a little bit neater. Oh, I forgot to take out my business cards. I have to go get those. I'll be right back. I think one of the cheaper options when it comes to package toppers, if you want to gift something to your, your customer, your client, is a business card. These cost pennies. Even if you go with an upgraded option, they're still very cheap in a large amount. I think Vistaprint, I pay about $40 to $50 per 1000 So again, a really cheap option if you can afford to buy them in bulk. You can print your own as well, as long as you have a printer that makes sense. If you have an inkjet printer and you're paying $30 per ink cartridge, might not make sense. But if you have a laser printer, of course it might make sense. So my business card says, you are enough, you are so enough. It is unbelievable how enough you are. And I keep that quote on the front and then any links on the back. I also have a brand new card that's slightly different. You'll see it. So it has that same quote on the top and then on the bottom it says, I am enough. I've been using these for hair ties because they cover up the bottom part, that white strip. So it's not until they pull off the hair tie that you can see I am enough. I like this option. This was a soft business card. So that's more cardboard. This is a little bit more plasticky feeling. It is a really nice option. I wouldn't have known this was a soft business card though, so I don't really think that needed to happen on my end, but I'm glad I know now. So I have big stacks of those. So let's do one of each, might as well. And this is heading to Kimberly. Hi, Kim. I have so many things. I think I'm gonna start off with one of these little creatures. They're just too cute. And yes, they are Christmas ornaments, but oh, just makes you happy looking at it. <laughs> I'll show you the finished product here. Little adorable bunny hanging out. And she paid again for the top $4.49. And for the shipping, she paid $4.99. And this is headed to Kim in Massachusetts. So let's get one of our mailers. We are gonna go with a pink llama print. This is a poly mailer. Poly mailers you can get in about 100 count for 10 to 15, sometimes a little bit more depending on what style. I keep an eye out for really good deals of poly mailers and always link those in my link tree. That's just the page of links. So that'll be down below. I just found a thousand 10 by 13, which is the size. I like to keep a bunch of different sizes, but the 10 by 13 are really handy for clothing, especially smaller clothing. This weighs 7.5 ounces. So I do round up to the nearest ounce. So I'm gonna type in eight and update. I always leave the dimensions 12 by 12 by 3, 12 by 12 by 2. It really won't make a difference. I'm going to put 3 um, on the smaller items, and I don't really adjust those. It doesn't make a difference. So I'm going to update my shipping page, and my cost is $3.36. So 
So I just found a deal on the Thousand Count. They do have like a library book print, which I think is really pretty and reminds me of school backgrounds. You know, when all of the cool people were allowed to have like the laser beams and then my mom and everybody else's mom was going with the library. So it looks almost exactly like that library book print. Um, a thousand were $37 shipped. That's a really good deal. That's under four cents per mailer. And as you can see, I just need a dollar and change on this. So that will pay for everything else. Thank you, Kim. Let's do ship your next item. There's a link on the right hand side of the page. And what do I want to do next? Let's do a small item. I sold a lot of jewelry. I've been selling a lot of jewelry. Let's reach into my bag and see what I pick out to be shipped next. So I found this brooch. I, I mean, I just found it right now in the bag. I've been buying a lot of, I've got to get it. There we go, to close so it doesn't come open accidentally. I've been getting a lot of the Thread Up DIY jewelry boxes and they have sold out. I'm sure that's mostly due to me because I ordered like 20 of them. I enjoy them so much. As you know, I can't always get out of the house. I don't have too many great days to go thrifting. Tomorrow are my lidocaine injections. Oh, I'm looking forward to that so much. So those boxes were $60 for 10 pounds of jewelry and the smaller ones were slightly more per pound. And I felt an amazing, I mean, some items are just like this, but it's gonna sell for $4. I sent somebody an offer for $4. So, but again, I paid, I should have, I should have weighed it before I put it in this lovely foam. So pretty. It's less than an ounce. So I paid next to nothing for this. And I listed it, it was so quick. I put my items next to a ruler, so I don't even necessarily have to measure them. <laughs> and I can list it within a minute. I'm going through jewelry so fast. I put what it is, it's a blue pin. That's about what I'm doing, great condition. And it sold within hours. I sent somebody a best offer. And again, it probably would have sold for the list price of whatever it was, $5.49, but I knew I was making a shipping video and wanted a bunch of different stuff in here. So this will just be the inner wrapping. I want to make sure to get the jewelry items over one quarter inch, and that's what you need to do if you use a poly mailer. So if this was a very flat item, and some of the items are going to be very flat because they're just like, a little bracelet and you're like I can just put this in an envelope eBay wants you to put it with tracking and a regular envelope a regular 10 number 10 envelope doesn't have tracking so to have tracking you're gonna need to put it in a poly mailer a small box anything really and so instead of like a 50 cent stamp or whatever stamps are right now you have to do tracking which is going to increase your cost quite a bit so make sure you're charging your buyer enough where you can absorb that cost if you do free shipping so this is going to Deborah in New York and I'm going to put this in this adorable little takeaway container again it was 90% off for a big stack we paid just a few cents Let's see if I know how to do this. <laughs> Four cents and five hours of my time. Oh, I think I've got it. Oh, it's so cute. And again, this was supposed to be Christmassy, but snowmen, they're all winter. We're good. I'm going to wrap this in some tissue paper, though I probably wouldn't have to. get a piece of washi tape. One of my subscribers sent me this little plastic container of a ton of washi tape. We will grab a small piece. 
I try not to tape my items too much because some people like to save tissue paper, including me. But washi tape peels off quickly and easily and will not hurt the tissue. So we're gonna use some black and white thank you washi and thank you to all of my subscribers who have been sending just the best supplies. It makes me so excited even when I'm not filming I do this. It goes a little quicker because I'm not talking to myself in the camera, but um, it makes it so fun for me. So this is going to Deborah. Because we used the feather print, which has purple in it, I'm going to tie my ribbon in a knot. Let's get to the end first. There we go. And I do try to cut my ribbon to where I'm not just throwing some out, but occasionally it happens. I wish I could save all of my scraps. Oh, this is going to be very close to perfect. and send them to a scrapbooker. That would be a fun thing. Perfect, no waste on that one. And then Deborah is going to get a basket charm. This is a D. I'm gonna leave this in the package. It'd probably look nicer to open it and put it on here, but if it was me, I'd rather have it in the package. In case she's reusing it or whatnot. So we're gonna slip this into a poly mailer. We are going to use an adorable, look at this one. I was sent this, I've never seen these sleeping foxes. Look at that. So stinking cute. Those poly mailer people, I'm telling you. What a fun job that would be. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. I just think of it like Googling fun prints and putting it on, but you have to make sure they're not copyrighted and there's place adjustments and print adjustments and stuff. Never mind, I just talked myself out of that job. This weighs just 2.2 ounces, so again, first class mail round up. And that's because sometimes with moisture that a package takes on, even with the, the packaging I have, it could take on a little bit of moisture. And the post office likes you to round up to that closest ounce. That's just a good idea overall. Okay, so Deborah paid $4 for the brooch and $4.49 for shipping. My cost is $2.84. And purchase and print. eBay makes this really easy and it's just a step-by-step -step process I'm noticing. <laughs> we have an eight-year-old neighbor who we just adore. And he was walking by and, and saw me filming. He knows what we do. So hi, Jason, if you're watching. Sorry, I didn't wave back. I'll wave now. Hi. Sometimes he watches my videos. Thank you so much, Deborah. Your brooch will be on the way tomorrow morning. Or whatever time my postman decides to get here. Usually in the morning. Ship my next item. Okay. Let's see, let's do some t-shirts. I have a lot of Life is Good t-shirts. Okay, so these t-shirts I found at the bins maybe? Maybe ThreadUp sent them to me? I don't know, I did a whole bunch of ThreadUp videos. And even though I'm not gonna make money necessarily on the goods, I make money on the videos, etc. But I might've made money on these. These were all size small and a very kind of similar feel to them. This one has a sunflower. It says, hello sunshine. This one has a cat that says life is good. And then this one has some flowers and it says keep it wild, life is good. That's, that's what that one says. So let's fold these nicely. In college, I used to work, well, I used to work several jobs in college, sometimes at a time. 
and one of my jobs was at Bass Clothing Store. My mom keeps saying it was at Ann Taylor. It was not at Ann Taylor. That was her other daughter. They both worked at Ann Taylor. And I, I loved folding clothing at Bass. I, I'm sure I'm not remembering it correctly, but I've loved almost every job I've ever had, at least for like a solid year, year and a half. And then I kind of got bored of it. Even if I was okay at it, I just, I just love working with people and not working with people. I've just loved it all. So this will be our last one. If you think about it and want to share, I would absolutely love to hear some of your favorite quotes, like encouraging kind of thoughts, wisdom, quotes in the comments. Somebody suggest I read some of those aloud and I'll link to that idea. There we go. I folded one differently than the other. What are you going to do? So these are being sent to Amy. Hi, Amy in California and she paid $11 for the lot of three. These have sat for probably three or four months, I'm gonna say. So again, I sent that $11 offer. You might be able to get more. And $7.99 shipping as they are lightweight, but all together, I think with packaging, I'm gonna to have to send them priority mail. I will. This is 15 ounces, so even if I slip this in a poly mailer, I mean, I might be able to send it first class mail if I had another no packaging, but I plan on sending it priority mail. She paid for priority. I'm going to ship it priority. Anything over 16 ounces, priority mail. Anything 16 and under, first class mail. If you just remember one thing, that's all you have to remember. You don't even really have to remember that, but that's a good thing to remember. So put it in a protective plastic bag and let's pick a piece of tissue paper. We're going to do another dog piece. And let's pick, let's do some blue raffia. One of the pugs, I guess the only pug, is wearing a aqua collar an aqua collar. I edit my videos. I'm like, oh my goodness, my grammar is horrible. <laughs> Sorry. Like this piece is going to be just slightly long on one side. I'm going to have to cut it. Sorry, piece. You can decorate our trash. If anybody would like me to save all of those little pieces for them and you want to pay shipping I mean a big bag will probably only be like three or four dollars I'm happy to do that if you have a use but I don't some business cards we're gonna do both business cards for everybody and let's do do I have an A I'm gonna check I think we're gonna give her the cat fox whatever this little creature is is this a cat is this a fox i think the little stripe is throwing me off because the life is good top had some animals look how cute stinking adorable if the can't Sorry if the camera angle changed. My husband came home and now it is a little bit later. Real life. So we have this package for Amy. Let's put it in a poly mailer. Oh no, this is um, priority mail. Priority mail. So we are going to use a padded priority mailer. Here it is. So anything you can fit in here is $7.33 through eBay and $7.55 through most other websites. I might have to rearrange our package topper. We shall see. I'll put it on the top. And that fit nicely. 
without crushing anything. Now this would have been between one and two pounds, but again, because it is flat rate, I actually didn't need to weigh it. Now this package would have been $10.54 if I had put the same exact package in a poly mailer, like this avocado one. But because we're using this specific bag, this is called, it says flat rate envelope, but it has the bubble wrap kind of inside. So this is a padded mailer on eBay's site and the USPS site. You can only order these online. I don't know why. Post office should absolutely be carrying these. It would save people a lot of money. Maybe that's why they don't. It is $7.33. Purchase and print. Let's see if eBay's going to need to log us back in here. Sometimes they're like, ah, oh, you haven't worked in 16 hours. Let's make you log back in. But no, I didn't have to do that this time. My husband went to sing at a retirement community. I saw him there, that same retirement community, last week. So he was back today. Thank you so much, Amy. The next item. I should be shipping the boots to get them out of the way. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to get some, some packaging underneath my my so-called belt, my elastic pants. Let's, let's see what I pick out of the bag. We are going to do a necklace. Again, this came, this came from the Thread Up box. It is a necklace that is long, but can be doubled. So I'm going to double it up. And then this won't be able to fit in a straw. Sometimes thin chains I drop down into a straw. This is definitely a, a thicker necklace. So I'm going to take a little bit of, I could do tissue paper. Maybe I'll do tissue paper. Somebody sent me light pink tissue paper and hot pink ribbon, so pretty. Let's do some pink tissue paper. I'm just gonna save this for Valentine's Day. But anytime I think to myself, oh, I should save that supply, I then want to use it. It's the same thing with me in grade school when I went to school. I was homeschooled there for a while, but I started off in regular school. If my mom bought us new clothes, my sister, brother, and I, I would, I would wake up in the middle of the night. I don't know how many times I did this. My mom will have to comment if she hears this. And I would change and I would put on the new clothes and then go back to sleep because I was so excited about my new clothing. We got new clothing often too. It wasn't like a once in forever thing, but I got excited for new clothing. Okay, so this is now packaged like this. We'll use a little bit of twine or washi tape. I'm gonna go with twine because I have this nice big roll. I've got so many pairs of scissors. I'm going to keep one on the side and one on that side. Our neighbors moved months ago and let us come and go through their stuff they were giving away. And we got an extra pair of scissors. But no offense, they don't watch me. Their scissors are not good. I don't know what we're keeping them. <laughs> Just have another pair, I guess. Scissors, precious commodity. Uh, let's put this in these. Again, this came from the after Christmas sale. I try to hit that up every year. And it is a polka dot kind of paper bag. But again, that doesn't scream Christmas. It's got aqua and it has the red and dark green, but not very Christmassy. Just makes for a really cute presentation. Let's wrap this in some tissue paper. This is headed to, who's this headed to? To you, Summer. Hi, Summer. I tried to convince my sister to change her name to Summer one, one year, but my mom was not having it. 
I'm going to cut this in two, and that way we can get two packages out of it. Oh, it's so pretty. I rarely use hot pink, and I don't know why. I don't know why. What is that from? There's a movie or a television show. I don't know. My husband would know. He's always quoting things. I can't remember things to quote them usually. And let's see, I guess these are the sharpest scissors. I'm gonna try to cut them. I know if I burn the ends, that'll get rid of any little frays. So let's take my safety lighter and keep it away from the tissue paper a little bit and just lightly go over that. There we go. Made a cute little bow. Doesn't that just make you happy? Oh my goodness, how could you not be happy with that? I mean, of course you couldn't, but I don't have any S's. I think I'm going to use these. These were 30 cents after Christmas, and one is hot pink, and the others are silver and clear. Again, I'm not going to actually use these. I'm just going to include it as a package topper. These were $3, so $0.30, cents, so $0.10 cents a piece. And for $0.10, cents, I have a really pretty package topper. Put that in. I'm going to cut that cardboard down a little bit more. Let's do some business cards. And that will absolutely be more than a quarter of an inch. And because again, it is lightweight, we ship this first class mail. We have a bunch of new, we have a bunch of new poly mailers thanks to some subscribers. Avocado, I have never tried avocado. 3.1 ounces, so we round up to four because we're rounding up to the nearest ounce. An update, and summer is in Georgia. Yeah, I'm not very good with trying new foods. I kind of eat the same three foods every day. Like 99% of my diet is like under 10 foods for sure. And print, and print. husband went out shopping yesterday or the day before and bought me all sorts of berries. So I have blueberries and raspberries and blackberries. Thank you, Summer. So that's what I'll be snacking on later. And the next item, we have a bunch of jewelry and because of how lightweight all of these pieces are, these are all going to go first class mail. The next item is a Madewell cactus stamped or embossed. You'll see the little cactus there. Let's name him Fred. He's waving. Fred the cactus. And I listed this and within minutes it's sold. I sent somebody an $11 offer. They accepted it. Who is this? Jennifer. Hi Jennifer. Let's put this in. Let's do the light pink again. Nope. Just kidding. We're going to do foam. be selling anywhere from ten to fifteen dollars so that was that was good plus it sold so fast we will tie this closed with a little bit of purple to hold the foam and she is in a northern part of Florida I've visited there many times not while living here in Florida as I don't travel so much now and by so much I mean never but when my husband and I lived in Pennsylvania for years and years, we used to come to Florida at least a few times a year, and we vacationed in this part of the state up north. Can I say where? I think I can say where. It's Pensacola. There's like 4,000 Jennifers in Pensacola, maybe more. So 
It's a beautiful part of the state. We had looked at moving either there or to this part on after vacationing a bunch more years. We wound up in this part and we're thrilled. Let's see, let's use some tissue paper. And I don't think I have any J's, but I have to check. some hot pink. So pretty with this feather print. And unless I say otherwise, all of the tissue papers are from Jelson Robert. I buy them on Amazon. I have my Amazon affiliate link below, but of course you don't have to use it. Um, I get like a few percent back if you use it. I don't know how much. It winds up being like 30 or $40 a month overall. And Jilson Robert comes out with new prints every, I'm going to say twice a year. They have a holiday catalog and another catalog. And um, I'm waiting for the new prints. They haven't come out with them in 2020 yet. I mean, it's only January 5th, but Jilson Roberts, come on. We're all waiting for you. And you can find 240 sheets of paper, and they're big. I used half a sheet on this for $35 on Prime. So free shipping, of course, with the Prime. It might even be free shipping to other people. I'm not sure. Let's see what we're going to do. Shall I do a rose? Somebody sent me these beautiful roses. I used one on a package. I sent another seller because their item was purple. I think I'm going to include the rose. I just want to make sure. I think we're okay there. Maybe I'll put it in the bag. There we go. <laughs> put that in. So their package is going to look like this. I'm going to put it in the llama mailer which will match the hot pink nicely. Is that a fun noise? I really enjoy that noise. There's a whole bunch of noises I hate, but that one I enjoy. Okay. 2.8 ounces, so we round up to three. Easy peasy update. And purchase and print. I've been going through my bins because my husband and I haven't thrifted in probably over a month and just listing some things I had on hand. And it's felt nice to just catch up. I still have, I don't know, 50 jewelry pieces, but they're just a small little thing. It's not like 50 pieces of clothing where you have a death pile. That's what resellers call their pile that hasn't been listed. Thank you, Jennifer. They're a death pile. I've never really had too much of a death pile, even when I went shopping at 17 different thrift shops in two days in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, years and years ago. Um, I'd usually list things. My favorite part is listing, definitely listing, followed probably closely with photos and photo editing. I love that part. I can sit down and as long as my abdomen is okay, which it is right now, a little sweaty, honestly, just because of a little bit of pain, but it's, it's a whisper. It's not shouting pain. I wouldn't be here if it was shouting pain. It's a whisper. It's, it's a slow talk. <laughs> it's not really a whisper. Does anybody else describe their pain like that? Like shouting pain. Pain gets too bad, of course, it screams, and then you can't formulate sentences or words. Okay, next is this little New York pin. Look how fun that is. That would have been so fun if you went to Times Square on New Year's Eve. It's very um, contrasty with dark clothing, so you can actually see what it says. I loved this. This again came in a thread up box. So this is headed to New York, going to Hiroko. Hello, Hiroko. I'm going to put this in I don't, a bag first. We're going to mix it up. We're going crazy here. Let me 
I'm going to put a little bit of washi. Let's use, oh, I like the idea of using this one very much. It doesn't match, but it also has dots on it, and I'll show it to you against the smaller dots. Love that. So fun. And I listed this, and it sold within minutes for $5.49. And shipping is $4.49, so this person basically paid a flat $10 to have this shipped. So again, this is very flat. We want to make sure to puff this out a little bit. We will put it in a plastic bag. And this cost me, again, those boxes are so nice because they deliver them. I love going to the bins, but it is definitely the hardest thing for me to do. Just, it's a fun surprise, but you never know. You could get there and find almost nothing, and it just seems like a little bit of waste of time sometimes. So if I can have stuff delivered, love that. And the jewelry's just been working beautifully. Okay, tissue paper time. I had already pre-cut half sheets of the feathers, so we're gonna go with feathers again. But I only have one more sheet after this. Fold that up a little bit so both sides are nice. You see the little bit of the gold metallic? Oh, so pretty. And let's do the purple. A little bit of a mess started. I'll need to clean up here. That's okay. Nobody's even going to know. <laughs> Except you because I told you. I have six boxes of thread up jewelry waiting to be opened. It was delivered two days ago and I thought I'm going to open this on camera and not that I can show every piece of jewelry because it would just be like 12 hours of showing jewelry and some of it comes really tangled in a mess. So if you're looking for just jewelry to be good to go straight out of the gate, is that the saying? Straight out of the fence, whatever it is, that's not it. But, um, so yeah, maybe tomorrow after I get lidocaine injections at three. So maybe tomorrow night, we'll see. So some business cards and let's do, I have some skating women, girls. How much for you? These were $3 originally, which is still a decent deal for an ornament. So I would have paid 30 cents. Look how cute she is. Just name her Jasmine. Tiptoes, belly, ice skater, whatever she is. I have a bunch of little girls. She's so stinking cute. Put her that way so she doesn't get dizzy. Um, let's grab one of these arrows. Another fun print of Polly Mallow. This one is like shades of corals and pinks and apricots. Love that. Oh, this would have been good for the ombre shirt. Lost opportunity. That's okay. I just had the thought, oh, I hope I hit record, but I did. We're okay. And this is two. Ooh, that was a close one. It went from 2.1 to 2. It's at 2.1. We're going to leave it at the 3 ounces since I'll round up. And 3 ounces update. And my cost is $2.76. Purchase and print. Pause for a drink of water. And print. And print. My sister for Christmas sent us some wonderful things and she surprised me with two gifts that I didn't even think about asking. 
Um, one of them was tissue paper. <laughs> she knows me well. And the other was a set of reusable straws. And I love the silicone straws. I have a set of, I don't know, maybe three or four. So that was a really nice addition to my straw collection. Thank you, Hiroko. The next item came from a Fred Up Fun Box. And I think they send, let's see if they have the fun boxes. I know they've sold out of jewelry. They've sold out of a lot of boxes. They're called rescue boxes. And I think you have to be on a computer or Google that specific thing. They sell clothing and handbags. They're out of coach. They're out of name brand. They're out of the DIY jewelry. Do they have fun boxes? They are out of fun boxes. I think it's 12 items for $22 or something. I don't know. Whatever it is. My camera shut off while I was talking. It's like, yeah, we're, we're done talking about this. Um, this was one of the fun box items. So I paid about $2 for it, maybe. Um, that was with shipping. And it sold for $19.99. It is a cabby adjustable, heavy metal gold belt. And it can be worn so many so many ways. I googled this. And um, it showed me how to display it. And I'm so thankful because I would have had no idea. In my head, I could wear this with like black boots and maybe some kind of hat. But in reality, no. I'm in oversized sweatpants. Okay, Lisa, you are in WI, which I'm guessing is Wisconsin. I have to type with one hand. Oh, the travesty. Wisconsin, yay. Okay, we are going to foam it up. So what I'm gonna do, can you see what I'm gonna do? I'm going to lay it flat, give this a roll or two and secure it. And then because this is so long, bring it back up and that way none of the chain is touching other chain. As long as I can keep it down in there. Okay, so I have to fold it like this and then bring this side in. And it's not the end of the world if it touches itself, but if I can help it, I'd like it to stay packaged properly. Grab a little bit of purple ribbon. I wonder where this person bought this. It's, she sent me all sorts of shades of purple. Just beautiful. I think four or five packs. The whole box was beautiful. Just, oh, one of the prettiest boxes. And I've, I've got some pretty boxes. <laughs> but the shades of purple, I'm sure it's because I'm not like a super purple person. I love purple. I really like most colors, but I tend to buy blues and grays and whites over and over and over. So just to see all the shades of purple, it's so pretty. Shall we do the other rose? I have this other rose. That might be nice with that. This one even, even has a leaf. Where am I going with this? And plastic bag. I'll be here at like four o'clock in the morning at this speed. That's okay. The other night I was awake and I started to feel good and it was about one o'clock in the morning. I was like, oh, I can shower. So at almost two o'clock in the morning, I showered. You gotta take the opportunity when you're feeling good. So plastic bag and Lisa is in Wisconsin. She paid $19.99 and she paid $4.99 for shipping. I normally, I'm so lazy when it, especially when I'm listing stuff like this, this did require a measurement, but like when I'm typing, I don't want to take the time to bring out my scale. I put it away. I like things really clean when I go to bed. We kind of bring the house back to a baseline clean. Like my husband cleans the kitchen after every time he cooks. I don't cook at all, so nice and easy there. But he cleans our stove. We put things back. Again, we don't have pets. We both work for ourselves. We don't have children. <laughs> So please don't think I'm I'm saying you need to do this. So I like things away. I like things clean when you first wake up. So I just put my scale away. So I normally just guess at the price if something is lightweight, 
$4.99. If something is heavy and can fit in that bag, $7.99. I just put the flat rate, make it easy on myself. Don't judge. <laughs> Lazy. Um, so last night I was listing and I was like, oh, this could go either way. So I did weigh this and determined it could go first class mail. So I, it's funny because it's only seven ounces. But I was thinking it just felt heavy. It feels like a weighty belt. It's not. So it will go first class mail for less than $4.99. We have this pink paisley print. Gotta love alliteration. And I don't have any L's. So we will stick with some other package toppers. Let's do the purple. Leave this one a little bit longer so if she wanted to save this ribbon and reuse it she could there's a meme out there i'm sure everybody's seen it at this point that says something like if you don't have a bag full of other gift bags are you even a woman or something a mom or whatever it says a parent uh, but that's so true. Like <laughs> my mom always had that kind of thing. I'm sure if I walked into my sister's house, she would also have that. And I save packaging, of course. Okay, let's do the rose. I'm gonna put it back in that, that bag that I put the other one in. And that way it just protects it a little bit. So this is what this package will look like. I love the purple theme. Purple ribbon, purple rose. Let's see if I have any purple. I don't have any purple mailers, but I do have this really pale succulent cactus print. I don't really know the difference between succulus and cacti, but succuluses. I don't know how to pluralize that either. that over like even that silver thing that'd be great for packaging like if you had I don't know maybe it wouldn't I feel like you could do something with it I just don't know what it is this is 8.6 ounces and we round up to nine nine ounces from Florida to Wisconsin of four dollars and six cents purchase and print Five thirty-one p.m. on Sunday, of course. Today is January 5th. And we are headed back in the other direction with how light it gets to be at night. Which makes me excited for summer. It's not pitch black at 5.30, which is just wonderful. Thank you, Lisa. I'm going to pause for something to eat and I will be back soon. I am back. It is now six o'clock at night, 6.01 to be precise. And I had ramen noodles. Oh, I stinking love ramen noodles. I've loved them forever. Everybody loves ramen noodles, right? I never thought I would be able to eat them because of how sensitive I am with food and everything. I'm fine. I've been having ramen noodle just about every day since April. Now it's 10 months later, eight months later. Still fine with it. My stomach, whatever. The next item, you didn't need to know that, is Sandra. Um, Sandra lives in Iowa. Hi, Sandra. And she ordered this rhinestone bracelet. Again, I had this up less than 12 hours. And she purchased it for $5.49 and the shipping was $4.49 bringing her total 
again to $10. And I'm doing this on purpose because I try to list things with a very low value and some items with a higher value. But I know a lot of my customers, probably Sandra included, watch my videos, want something, want that packaging, want that experience, hopefully to see themselves, um, see their package online. And that's, that's my sweet spot. That's what I love doing. And they have an item that they love that costs me very little and that has a pretty package. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to package up Sandra's bracelet. Let's put it, I'm just in love with these little polka dot bags. Who wouldn't be? Look at that. I don't have to keep it round. This, this will ship flat easily. Let's do some chevron pink washi tape. And I'm going to break out a new tissue paper. <laughs> Look how pretty this print is. Oh, all of those shades of blue. Very denim friendly if it was a top. That's what somebody on QVC always says. Very denim friendly. Like everything is denim friendly at this point. My husband ran out and is walking and then heading to the gym. Tool. I think that'll be a pretty, a pretty ribbon option. I buy this on Amazon. These are usually in the five fifty to seven dollar range, and I think there's a hundred yards on here. So again, that's just a few cents per package. Let's see. I think I have those linked below as well. You don't have to spend a lot, and you don't have to spend anything. cut this piece a little too big so we're going to go around and around so I got lots of tool okay. here this is $5.99 for a spool and it is still that price and again for a hundred yards even if you use a yard per package it's just 5.9 cents, 6 cents per package. The tissue paper, if you're using half of the sheet like I just did. I think they're 16 cents a sheet, so 8 cents. Business card, anywhere from like 4 to 7 cents. Oh, this just matches perfectly. I didn't even realize that until right now. How pretty that is with that. That blue color is just perfect with that. Let's see. I'm going to add a little clothespin. I think these are adorable. Somebody sent me little mini clothespins. And do I have her initial? I don't have any S's. Let's do a face mask. Or a nose strip, I guess. This is just a nose strip. Come on. You can do it. There we are. And I'll put this in a bag. I grabbed some more package toppers when I was up as well. Not that I was going to run out. These plastic bags are about three cents a piece. Depending on if you buy a hundred or if you buy a thousand. I think I bought 5,000 and I'm definitely on the last thousand so probably within another year or two I'll need to buy some more. I might try some plant-based options like some biodegradable natural options. We'll see. And package tupper. Let's 
do one of those. Oh, I have, you know what? This is adorable. This is an ornament. It's a unicorn. And they have blue in them. So we'll just put that right on top. <laughs> I don't think I have any all blue mailers. So let's go for the fox print. Now that package topper was 30 cents. But if you just did the business card, I think somebody would, would love that, especially when you don't put your branding on the front, which is absolutely okay. I tend not to hold on to business cards um, unless they're sent by one of you just for the purpose of holding on to business cards, especially with a used item like this. My shipping is $3.36. It rounded up to five ounces, purchase and print. Because a used item, if I find something used, like a shirt, like whatever it is, most likely I'm not going to go back to that seller's website specifically to look for something. Just because they have a shirt for me today doesn't mean they're gonna have whatever I'm looking for next. Unless it's Amazon, of course. Thank you, Sandra. Quick little pile there. I already scheduled my pickup for tomorrow. I just try to overestimate a little bit, but even with how many packages, it won't weigh a lot for them. Let's see what else I pull out. We can do this purse. This person also purchased a pair of earrings. So Candace is one of my longtime buyers. She purchased this earring um, set. So pretty. Hopefully you'll be able to see them. If not, I'll put a picture on. They are like a lightweight copper, but the copper has done that thing that copper does where it gets the aqua green verda something, I think. Did I put it in the listing what this is called? I put green patina. <laughs> Good enough. And she purchased this purse. She paid $6 for the earrings. Put them in a little bag. And this bag cost just three cents after Christmas sale. And the purse came from ThreadUp. I forget exactly how many purses I ordered from their rescue box, reject box, whatever you want to call it. I think there were a lot of purses. That is not at all helpful. I don't think I paid $9 per handbag, whatever it was. Again, that was specifically for a video. So I accepted an offer for $5. This had a flaw. Some of the studs are missing. It's not super noticeable. Is that even where it is? This is where it is. Um, but the other side is fine. It is leather. It is a very cool design. You wouldn't be able to fit much in here. So let's first wrap this with some foam. To keep that closed, I'm going to tear a strip of cotton. I'll show it to you. So at the bins, I don't know. I guess this past time, I don't even know if I, I remembered, I had washed this, so I don't know if this made the video. I found this robe. How incredible is this? It's huge. There's no labels. It's handmade. But I thought this would be a lot of fun to cut into strips because it's such a fun tropical print and use it for ribbon. So I paid maybe $1.50 for this entire thing. And again, <laughs> it's cute. Let's cut a sleeve off. Sometimes I go to a certain thrift shop and they have bolts of fabric for maybe $10 and there's a lot of fabric. Sometimes I go to thrift shops and they have big bolts of fabric for less than $10 and occasionally the thrift shop I go to has a 50 cent day where everything of a color 
this isn't Goodwill. It's a, it's more of a volunteer rent thrift shop. It's 50 cents and I've picked up bolts of fabric for 50 cents before. So that would be a really good option if you didn't mind cutting things. I'll leave this together so it creates a big, big strip. This is a little bit more time consuming, of course. That's a fun option to include a cloth ribbon instead of just the regular ribbon. Curling ribbon would probably, well, depending on what you got the bolt for. If you get a bolt of fabric and you have time on your hands, of course that might be cheaper, but curling ribbon's a really good option too. Just hold that closed. Let's put this in a bag. Now Candace purchased these items separately and paid for them separately. So what I'm going to have to do after I figure out shipping is to refund her the additional shipping. This is up to you, but she paid basically for two packages. I'm sending one package. So I feel that is definitely right um, to refund her for that second shipping. And let's see, let's print the one here. What we'll need to do is just choose one of the items. I chose the purse. It literally wouldn't matter and print it. This is going to Hawaii. Aloha, Candace. She says aloha. And then copy the tracking number. We'll go, we'll go through that. For some reason, it defaulted to media mail. Media mail I don't use often because I don't sell literature and books and it's, it's certain things, but basically it's paper goods, learning materials, books, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to have to wrap this and then weigh this, but I'm guessing this will be first class mail. I left some air in the purse plastic bag. And that way it gives a little bit more cushion. I'm going to cut some more fabric and I will be back. So I have a big long strip. This will add to the weight a little bit as fabric weighs more, of course, than possibly a ribbon would. So take that into consideration. Let's do, I have these cord keepers. I'm gonna send her some watermelon cord keepers. You have a lot of cords under your desk or in an area. Focus. Um, you can just gather them all together. It works like a little bit of a twist tie. There we are. Show you what that looks like. Okay, I am 99% sure this is going to ship first class mail, so let's give it away. It is 11.6, so it absolutely will. As it is larger, I will pull out a bigger poly mailer. These are, oh, I must have hit my screen, sorry about that. We'll fix you in a second. These are the 12 by 15. Love this bright aqua blue, of course, as it's my color. 12.1, so I'm going to round up to 13. And update. Purchase and print. My cost is $5.53. So she paid, I forgot to say that, $5 for the purse. Oh, I think I did say that. And $4.99 shipping. Print and print. And then for the other item, thank you, Candace. For the pair of earrings, she paid $6 plus $4.99 shipping. So I'll go in and refund her 
the some of the shipping she paid and um, and then once I do that that's in PayPal it's an easy thing I'm gonna go back into eBay and copy the tracking number I could manually type it in from the label but I can also just copy and paste that so I have to find that tracking number here we are go ahead and use my mouse to copy that go to the earrings she purchased those first and under more App actions which shows on my screen I don't know if you see the same thing I see um, on your computer I'm going to go ahead and add tracking number what that will do I'll just paste that in and save that'll tell eBay that the tracking number is there eBay likes everything tracked if you don't add the tracking number then eBay won't put you as high in the algorithm I'm sure you've heard that before um, high on the list when somebody searches things so if somebody's searching for an Ann Taylor loft black skirt and there's 4,000 of those little things you do like ad tracking ship on time um, a whole bunch of other things will will put you supposedly higher in the list supposedly I'm going to put you back down a little bit I feel like I hit the computer I don't know is that better I don't know so we refunded Candace the additional shipping which would be something I would recommend doing for the two packages my eBay screen went all wonky so let's fix that before I go crazy and let's do another piece of jewelry we are going to do this stunning piece of bobble bar jewelry look how pretty this is oh my goodness the baguettes all the way around oh, is that a killer necklace and this is being sent to one of my viewers let me find where this is Do, 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 do. find where this is here we go this is headed to Stephanie hi Stephanie what state are you in you're in Texas hello and she paid $16 that's an offer I sent her and the shipping is $4.99 so for a necklace that needs a little bit more protection I am gonna put it in this bubble wrap bag could tell you where I got this. Maybe somebody sent this to me. I don't think I ordered these. No, I'm sure I didn't order them. So I'm going to slip this in and I'm going to use a piece of cardboard. This cardboard came from the lip balm. <laughs> there was this really pretty piece of cardstock and I saved it, of course. I'm like, I could use that for something. So I'm going to slip that in behind it just to make this a little bit sturdier. And I'll show you what this looks like in a sec. Oh, so pretty. So that just gave it a little bit of a sturdier so it won't bend. And that's a really nice thing. Now let's put a piece of tissue paper around it. We will use the feather print, our last piece of this, for today at least. I pull a little bit of everything. Now, let's do, ooh, let's do the aqua ribbon. I've been saving it. You know what? This is prettier. <laughs> It's like a lilac-y. <laughs> Look how pretty this is. What color is this called? Iris. I should know that. This was such a nice ribbon. Save those plastic bags for another day. Oh, imagine if you had this in your house and decorated with this. What color would go with this? Gold, of course with this exact shade well, that's a tough one of course white black I would do black with it 
gray would be beautiful with it. Different shades of blue might look good. I wouldn't do any shade of green or yellow, I don't think. Red, a little iffy. Actually, I knew somebody I used to decorate cookies. Again, just a hobby and was hired by one of my church friends. I didn't know her very well, but we were acquaintances. And her wedding was red and purple, like a light purple. Maybe, maybe she's shades of purple, I don't know. And I was like, wow, that's, that's an odd combination for a wedding, like red and purple. And then I walked into, and the venue was just drop dead gorgeous. Maybe I have a picture of that somewhere. And the color combination was stunning. What color would you put with this purple if you were decorating? Even if you were wearing it, what color would you put with that? Let's do some sticky notes. I was sent a bunch of journals and sticky notes. This one says, be sweet. This way, and of course the business cards. package looks like. Straighten that bow a little bit. Let's do, I have a pineapple poly mailer, which will match the sticky notes. Oh, that's perfect. This is a very lightweight package. So this will definitely go first class mail. She paid $4.99 eight ounces 6.3 not bad okay so we round up to seven and update my cost is three dollars and 28 cents purchase and print Stephanie was so sweet to leave me a note that she was a viewer and has been admiring all of my store or something like that so I'm so glad that she purchased something and print. And my label printed a little smaller than usual. That's odd. Very odd. What happened there? I don't know. It looks okay. I have to cover it. But like, look at this part. It usually goes the whole way. And now I have a little bit of a gap. Oh my god, I was head. No. Oh, and this little number. This has happened before. This little skewy part, I'm sure that has something, a QR code, is now long. Huh. Thanks, Stephanie. I'm sure it'll be fine. Sometimes it just comes out a little bit different. That's okay. We're all a little different. Ship my next item. Okay. I only have six left. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. I only have six left, and I haven't pulled three on the strap. So let's do one I did pull. This was a thread up item. It is the NFL. NFL. Oh, look at me. Redskins bracelet in kind of a bronzy gold. What color did I call this? I didn't call it a color. Lightweight, Victoria. Oh, love that name. My sister, I want to save this. Um, my sister knows a Victoria. What does she call her? I'll have to ask. I don't remember the nickname, but it wasn't Tori and it wasn't Vic. Oh, it was Vic, just Vic, um, which I thought was unusual and pretty. So very nice little bracelet. I think you can add to these somehow. I'm not exactly sure how they squeeze. Can you add to these kinds of bracelets? I don't know. And she lives in Virginia. So let's wrap this up. Pink piece. Give it a little bit of cushion. This is just the inner tissue. Don't you worry. I will. I will add some fun, nice tissue to it. Not that this isn't nice. This is actually a really nice quality of tissue. 
and we will put a little bit of washi to hold it. Let's see. This one says hello. Hello. Hello, friend. And let's do what kind of fun tissue do we want to do? Let's do the blue. It's my new favorite. I ordered this. One of my Patreon subscribers told me they were having a sale on this print and another print that I've never ordered this one, but the other one I ran out quickly because I kept using it, using it. It's the marble print. And I ordered it a long time ago, maybe a month ago on Amazon. And it said it was like back ordered when I ordered it, but it kept saying like, do you want to cancel it or do you want to wait? Do you want to wait? I wanted to wait. I'm patient. Plus I have a ton of other tissue paper. I could probably not buy tissue paper for the next six months and be fine. I ordered it December 5th and it came yesterday. So it's almost a solid, let's, let's do this little measuring tape. It's almost a solid um, month. And I ordered another one at the same time and that one still hasn't shipped, but I'm hoping they ship it. We'll see. That's the marble. I've had that one before. It's beautiful. And they were both um, on that closeout $35 mark. Okay, our little package. And on the back we have, I just put a little piece of, it looks like a tape uh, measure. Is it the exact size of tape measure? I think it might be, maybe not. I won't use it as a tape measure. Let's go with the aqua I was just speaking about. This is that crinkle. I would love to know where she she purchased these. Look how pretty that is. So delicate. I was once called graceful in college. I don't know who said it. It could have been my grandmother for all I know. But I was like, oh yeah, I'm so graceful. Not so graceful anymore. And again, this business card. Let's just appreciate how, how well these match. Okay. Look at that. It was made for each other. I didn't even realize that when I ordered it. And let's do a bow. We have the bows in white and silver left. Put some of this excess away. So I have a V, interesting. When we went to Target, my husband and I, I told him to pick up any of the letters he could find, but not to pick up, there was a ton of Q. Not that anybody's name isn't Q. Not that somebody's name isn't Q, but I don't know if he would have picked up a V, but I don't have any Vs, unfortunately. Let's do the bow. And that will also add the height we need. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Could you just stare at that for hours? Is it holographic? It is. Oh, stunning. This might be the winner. Let's do, keep looking at all of my poly molars. I have ice cream cones, but I didn't bring those out for some reason. Let's do a llama. Llama is my new favorite. As you know, I have a Patreon group and there's a box, uh, there's a subscription level for $35 a month. And for that, you get at least 20 pieces, 25 pieces of tissue paper. You get poly mailers. This is now stuck to this. Um, you get ribbons and just other things. And so I bought some new poly mailers for the purpose of sending them. And I kept a few and this is one of those. I don't know where I got it, but it's so dang cute. All those little colors. I know to custom order poly mailers, which I've checked into, but I've never done. The more colors, the more expensive. And this one just has all of the colors. This weighs 1.3, so we round up to two. Update. 
She paid $5 for the bracelet and $4.99 shipping, and my cost is $2.76. Purchase and print. Oh, I'm still feeling rather well. That's so nice. And print. And again, this label just looks so strange. That QR code is throwing me off, but it's happened before. All the packages showed up in the right place. Thank you, Victoria. I really appreciate your, your buying this. And next item. It's gonna come down to the boots here soon. We have, we have big boots. The next item is right here. This is a necklace, open this up. This is how I've been storing jewelry. And because I have so many pieces, I've been storing it like longer, bigger, like chunky necklaces in colors, has its own separate bin, like a small bin though. And then longer chunky necklaces without color. So just like any, any metals or black and white. I don't really consider black and white. Here we go. <laughs> go that way. You're on the class. A color. Come on. We can do it, you. Get over there. I know. I know you're friends with the clasp. <laughs> Shake these guys down. There we are. I'll throw a photo up as this is going to just look like nothing. But there's a little leaf charm. Flip it around. And I have like shorter necklaces without color, got bracelets, bangles, all sorts of things. It took a while to decide how I wanted to do that. And I finally have a system fairly worked out. I think I have a straw, one straw left. Let's see, this is one of those paper straws. I've ordered more straws. I know um, that straws aren't the best thing to put in the environment, but this is paper. <laughs> there we are so let's see if this will drop down this, this chain might be too long Come on. there we are it's not dropping completely down this might not fit in here haha -ha, it does I could have used like 17 more straws though that's not going to help this out too much. This is one of those you could probably just put over your head anyway. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of this straw. It just looks silly if it was a much longer, but you get the idea. Straws are good for smaller chains, especially. This one, let's, let's use some foam or tissue paper. Let's do tissue paper. just absolutely slip over. I'm not really a jewelry person. But I can appreciate a nice, nice piece of jewelry. I don't have to wear it to appreciate it. There we are. I wouldn't need to, but let's put a piece of washi. All of these little things make me happy. And I hope they make her happy too. Who is this headed to? This is headed to Linda, who I definitely recognize. Hello, Linda. Thank you for shopping and being a repeat customer. And she is in Indiana. So let's do... Let's do one of these guys. Little smiling snowman guy. Or girl, I guess. I don't know why I thought it was a guy. And down. Maybe? I don't know. That's how I'm doing it. And, and together. Let's see. She paid $4 for the necklace. And the $4, I probably had it listed for like $5.49. I think that's basically what 
what the base price of most of my items are. These are unbranded, pretty, but unbranded um, pieces that I got in that DIY jewelry box that's now sold out. And $4.99 shipping. Perfect. Maybe it has to be more perfect than that, but let's try that again. Because it's not a perfectly parallel line, <laughs> that didn't make sense. You know what I mean though. Um, when I roll it, it rolls off to the side. Let's tuck that in. that over a little bit of washi this would be really cute if I had brown ribbon I've never thought oh I need brown ribbon before but the dogs are all very neutral colors I'm gonna use the aqua that I just pulled out Another one I won't have to cut. And this should get to her sending this Monday. I'm going to say probably within two or three days, usually first class mail takes. It's about the same as priority. Straighten that up a little bit. Let's see. Let's do a clothes pin just to keep those on there. And do I have any L's? I do not. I already know that. Let's do a tropical bird. Does she have a tropical bird or one of those little ladies? Oh, let's do the lady. The little girl. She has a little thing of glue across her face. There we are. What shall we name her? Let's name her Lucy. Slip her in, put her on, maybe slip her in. Her outfit matches the dogs. Let's get you in there. There we are. Somebody needed to draw a little smile. Oh, she does have a little smile. So fun. And let's do the llamas. You're gonna go live in Indiana. It's probably very cold there. Probably not. What is it? I think it was 84 today. We've been having quite the warm spell, which is perfect, perfect, according to me. Oh, it's 57. It is so cold here. Wow. Tomorrow's supposed to be 67. And then next week, no worries. Next week is going to be back to like 83, 84. So we're fine. We do have a heated pool. I haven't been in it since November, but we've seen a lot of people, my husband and I go over, he always reports when he looks out that window, he's like, there's four people over, we can see the pool. It's like right outside. Um, he's like, there's four people in there. I'm like, okay. This weighs 2.4 ounces, so we round up to three. Update. Uh, my cost is two dollars and seventy six cents. How fun this little pile of packages is. I wonder what my <laughs> mail carrier thinks about all of this. Print and print. Do you notice what kinds of mailers I'm using? Do you get excited about llama mailers? Probably not. Thank you, Linda. And, oh, I just sold another item. I think I only have one other item pulled and it's a very tiny bracelet. So let me go pull some other items 
Um, I will be back. The next item is a very tiny little bracelet. A ton of these came in one of my DIY boxes from ThreadUp. Are you sick of hearing where I got my jewelry? You know, all of the jewelry is from there. This is Pura Vita. Pura Vita, oh, I think it is. It's a little rose gold skull head on, I guess it's a gray or a grayish thread and this sold for $3.50 plus $3.99 shipping so we have to make this a lot bulkier so we can ship it through the mail so my first thought is to put it in a plastic bag and not let all of the air out of the plastic Capture some of our Florida air. Oh, I could probably capture a little bit more, but you get the idea. We're going to wrap it in some tissue paper. We will do the dog print. If you have a dog, what kind of dog do you have? Bear and I have had two dogs since being married over 17 years ago. And the first was a Maltese. And the second was a Maltese breed that we rescued. I don't know that we would do another dog um, rescue or not, but occasionally we do go play with some puppies dogs, just dogs in general, um, that don't get out of their cages often. So we just go for an hour or so when I'm feeling well. We do it a few times a year at least. Both Bear and I are very allergic when it comes to animals. Bear is very allergic to cats. I don't do well with dogs in general but it's worth it. <laughs> it's not a life altering allergy. Um, this is headed to Catherine in Massachusetts, I think is M-A. Am I right? M-A state abbreviation. Massachusetts. I have definitely been to Massachusetts as my family used to vacation in Vermont. Massachusetts, it's fairly close. And I think that's one of the states we had to drive through. If not, Bear and I have absolutely been there as well. It's a beautiful state. I'm sure it's quite cold now. And what are we going to do for Catherine? Oh, I might have a C. I might, might. Maybe not. P. Wow, I have 4,200 Bs. D, D, maybe I don't have a C. I also have some metal letters that you probably hear. <laughs> We're all caught up in the ribbon right now. Just pretend this is neat and organized. <laughs> these are some metal letters. I'll have to eventually bubble wrap these, but um, they were 50 cents at Target on the 90% off sale. And I picked up just a few of these as I knew they would be a little bit heavy to ship, but I could use them in the padded mailers. I think I'm going to do a lip gloss. I haven't done that and I feel fairly confident this is not going to melt. It's outside of the packaging anyway. I might message Catherine and ask her if she'll let me know, but let's put it in a bag. She can reuse the bag anyway. There we are. It's not going to be look, looking as nice as I'd like it, like dangling off of here, but I would prefer it in a plastic bag in case something were to happen. So this is what the package looks like without the lip gloss. Come on, we can do it. You and I, camera. There we are. And let's put this in a pineapple mailer. If you receive 
get a brand new lip balm from somebody, would you wear it? That was my only question, but because they were such a great value and I can send some to my niece and et cetera, et cetera, you get it. Would you wear it? I feel like I would. I go through lip balm. I wear lip balm every night, every day. I'm very into lip balm and just feeling moisturized in general. This way is just 1.5 ounces, even with the lip balm. So I round up to two. So if anybody seen, sends me any kind of hydration, I am applying it. Purchase and print. But I know I'm not as probably germ conscientious as some people. Open label, print, and print. Also just be a cute keychain. Check your next item. Thank you, Catherine. Okay, next item, let's do some earrings since I just pulled those and they're easy. These are Lauren, Lauren? Ralph Lauren. I don't know how you pronounce that first Lauren. Is it Lauren by Ralph Lauren or is it Lauren Ralph Lauren? These are tortoise clip-on earrings. And I didn't put that they were brand new because I didn't know that the person could have just stored them on there, but they did retail for $36. These sold within a day or two of, of listing them and they sold for the full asking price of $5.49. They're headed to G in Minnesota, MN. MN, let's see, abbreviation. Let's see, MN, Minnesota. Um, and they paid $3.99 for shipping. So let's put these in a cute little bag. There's, there weren't too many pairs of clip-on earrings or earrings really in general. I think necklaces was the, the number one thing in those boxes. And let's do, let's cut a piece in half. A lot of necklaces, a lot of chains. Not as many earrings, which is fine. It all seems to be selling, so that's awesome. semi-neat and G I definitely don't have a letter G anything let's do some aqua this is a big piece so let's cut this down maybe I'll do a bow again as I don't know whether G if so many package toppers it's so fun looking around and seeing all of them um, is a female or a male so I think I'm going to do that last bow. Last for tonight at least. I only pulled three of those. Oh, did this just slide out? No, it does not. I would have thought it slid out. Okay. Let's do a business card behind that. Little piece. Sometimes you gotta cut little pieces. Somebody in the comments said it was very wasteful, but I don't know what else to do with that, honestly. It's another one of those holographic bows. That'll give it some height. Let's do a llama meller, as that's the top one. We are winding down tonight, but we still have boots, so that'll probably be probably 10 or 15 minutes just on the boots. These 1.4 ounces, so we round up to two. 
Uh, my cost is, I was going to try to guess, but $2.84. For the rest of the night, since I already showered last night or early, early this morning, I will probably <laughs> lay in bed. I've been watching Hulu's Shark Tank. And I love it. I skip over the parts where they kind of are insulting or belittling, but I like seeing the products and seeing if they're still in business and what they sell for. Thanks, G. Next item, another pair of earrings that I pulled right here. They are Monet. I think that's how you pronounce that. Let's push this in so they don't wobble. These are pierced ears. And these sold for $5.49. Again, from ThreadUp. <laughs> and the shipping is $3.99. These sold to Lisa. I know I had another Lisa. So let me make sure these just sold. Let me make sure this isn't the same Lisa as we could combine shipping for her if it is. No, secondary Lisa. So she lives in Colorado. My sister was out in Colorado for about a year and then came back and now is in the Lancaster Glidditz area. Okay, let's do a little, I have stickers too. That would be a fun package topper. They came with the bags and I've not used them for some reason. Little snowflakes. I wonder if Lisa likes stickers. Let's do one of these. Oh, let's do, it says good things. Hopefully it will be a good thing for her. Yeah, that other piece I cut in half. A very pink thing to it. There we are, same washi. Hello. Keep going with aqua since it's right here. I might even be able to wrap this around once or twice extra. Maybe even one more time. Yeah. And what shall we give Lisa? I already know we don't have anything with an L. I like the idea of putting a clothespin since they're kind of a pinky color. They match so well. Maybe an ornament. Do I have any other ornaments that I pulled? I got a ton of ornaments, but did I pull any others? Oh, I did. She'll get one of these cute little foxy things. Oh, got a little, little piece of glue on your face, Fox. There we are. Oh, and some in your hair too. Some I got very messy. Oh, I didn't even notice the pom-poms. Oh my goodness, so cute. Okay, I'm sure you've seen this 4,000 times, but look at the pom-poms. Did the other one have pom-poms? Was this a reindeer? What kind of animal is this? <laughs> I really thought it was a cat. Maybe this is a different one than even before. She'll have to live outside of the packaging. So this is what the package looks like. I do have the both business cards there. I'll straighten those out here. There we are. And we're gonna llama it up. I think we have two scarves left, one on eBay and one through PayPal through YouTube. And then the boots, and then there was one two ounces right on the dot so I'm going to leave that at two. Two dollars and 96 cents and again she paid 3.99 so that'll all pay for packaging. 
Now the items that just sold, so the Monet earrings, was there one other thing? There was the Ralph Lauren earrings. I didn't actually have to ship those until Tuesday since I have a two day handling time. But I'm here, they were easy peasy. It's good to know that I have a little bit of leeway if I need it though, okay. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> we really have like neat piles of just things everywhere. The next item we will do, oh, I thought I had a scarf. Oh, it was like 99% sure I had a scarf. Perhaps they're one of the people who hasn't paid. Here we are. Oh yeah, okay. So I have to send the invoice to the person with the scarf. I already pulled it, so it's no big deal. And let's do the purses. I grabbed the strap, and that'll be our next order. So here are the two purses. I listed these last night. I was feeling good enough to list. I wanted to somehow make this neater. <laughs> and then put a little bit of something around it. Maybe some yellow raffia. Haven't used that yet today. I don't have too many tissue papers with yellow. And I'll just put that inside the purse and then I'll show you these bags. And both of them sold overnight, which was nice. Put this in here. So this is a, come up, we can do it, you and I zip it. Oh, there we are. Um, Bartina 449. It is their leather and linen purse. Now this I got from the bins, both purses I did. It has wear, and you might not be able to see that, but please know I do research. I don't necessarily always want to undercut myself with prices, but this definitely had some issues. There was some, some leather conditions. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. You'll just have to trust me on the strap, on the leather. Then this bag is a Vera Bradley. It is a vintage one. Um, this is probably from the early 2000s, the print, possibly a little bit older. And this had some condition issues as well. Definitely some wear on the corners, not holes, but definite discoloration, and just overall fading. So for, I always need to explain myself because some people, you know, don't necessarily know why I price things so low, but I like to move things quickly, especially things like this that I got from the bins. They're so fast to list and take photos of, and there's it's just easy, easy. So what did each one of these sell for? The Spartina bag sold for $9.99 plus shipping, and the Vera Tote for $6.99. I wanted to see how much I paid for these. This is a less than a pound and a half, so I probably paid somewhere around $2, and together they sold for $17. Now after eBay fees, um, shipping will come out of shipping, and so will packaging, taxes. I'll probably make a profit of at least $10, I would think, which for a few minutes of my time, and a shipping video, and the haul video, it's worth it, it's worth it. Just know that it's worth it. So let's put these in some bags. Let's do them together. Round so they fit. And this will have to ship, now that I'm thinking about this, Kentucky. So Kentucky, these are going to weigh two pounds. Yeah, I'll be okay. I wanted to make sure that I didn't need to fit them in a certain size bag. And if I did, I would have had to refold that big one, but I'm okay. Tissue paper. We're gonna go with the blue.
And we're going to wrap this one up a little neater as we won't be able to just flip it. I think. This person is Tracy. Hi, Tracy in Kentucky. This matches perfectly. I love working with tool. So malleable and nice to work with. to me okay do I have a tea that is a good question I might I have a I H H E here I have a T so Tracy will get oh I should have threaded I will thread that I'll thread that through so it kind of hangs out there Let me make my bow. Okay, so there we are. And this will go on a larger poly mallet. brighter than the ones I used to buy. I have some old ones. I'll have to do comparison at some point. These feel like they're a little bit brighter of an aqua, which I like. Let's see what you weigh. I'm going to guess between a one and two pounds. One pound, ooh, close to one and a half. One pound, 7.9 ounces. So I round up to two. You can actually type one pound eight ounces, just round up to the next ounce. It's the same thing though. So priority mail, just a straight priority mail package is $8.25 purchase and print. I'll do the other scarf next. I have to turn on my regular printer for that. Oh, we're back to the QR code being square. Thank you, Tracy. Clean up a little bit. And washi back in the washi case. So, the only thing I have left on eBay are the boots. True. So I'm gonna log into PayPal. Somebody saw this scarf from a YouTube video, which I know I haven't put out in a long time, it feels like. It's been a week. It's about eight o'clock. So I've been working on this on and off for a few hours. And I'm gonna go to my invoices. So I use PayPal to invoice people that want to buy something from a video. And she paid $7. Let me grab the scarf. So this is a black and white hound's tooth. The nice thing about selling straight from YouTube is that there are no photos, no measurements. It is a really soft scarf. I wouldn't have known this is acrylic. They did a really nice job with this. It's a cashmere feel scarf, but it is really soft. I don't know that I'd want it around my neck, but I'm not a scarf person in general. I do have a few though. If I went outside right now, I would need a scarf. I made myself step outside yesterday because I realized it was three days without stepping outside. I was like, okay, we need to step outside now. Just something I didn't think about. 
but I haven't actually left. Uh, I, I just literally went over to the fence to talk to the mail carrier and hand packages so we didn't have to walk the whole way around our front yard. And so that was my big going outside. <laughs> so I will be more outside tomorrow when I go for my shots, my injections. There we are. And I love that navy with this. So I think I'm gonna stick to that unless I have a C. I still have some ribbon with people's initials. I have a B, an F, an I, and a Z. Misty sent me those. I also have some with eyelashes, which are so cute. But I keep thinking I'm going to sell like some kind of makeup eventually. Sometimes the Allure box sends me things. I subscribe to Allure Beauty Box for $15 a month. I love that. I'm working on a makeup video. Not because I'm a beauty guru, just because that was one of the videos I could make. There we are. And occasionally I sell things that I get from Allure and I make money enough that it pays for the box. So that's really nice. Let's see what other ornaments we have. I don't think I have any of the initials. I haven't done a hair tie and this one is adorable. Somebody sent me a flamingo. <laughs> I just lost some foam. Things just keep falling off the table. Here, I'll show you what the business card looks like with the hair tie. I ordered these specifically for hair ties. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the hair tie. This is just elastic. I order elastic on Amazon usually. I also have found some at the bins, brand new, but somebody specifically sent me this, so thank you so much. So then when you pull that off, you can see that it says, I am enough. Let's do that and let's slip some stickers in here as well. So this is what this package looks like. I'll straighten things out before I slide them in. And let's put this in the succulent cacti print. And then because I sold this through PayPal, through YouTube, but through PayPal, the invoicing was done, I'm going to need to turn on my regular printer. It is six ounces, so print shipping label. My Dynamo 450, I love it. It's inexpensive. It's much cheaper than the 4XL, but it will not print labels from PayPal. What did I just say this was? Four ounces, five ounces, I don't know. It's the end of the night. Five ounces, so I have to round up to six. Okay, so let's turn on the noisy printer. Okay, printer is ready to go. So confirm and pay. My cost for shipping was $3.18. And print, I just realized I ate blueberries. I hope, <laughs> I brushed my teeth but forgot to look afterward. Okay, just have to change my printer. So I hope I don't have any blueberry seeds in my teeth. So it printed, I use the four by six labels. I think these are called, I don't remember what they're called. Some kind of like two labels per page. You can get them on Amazon, eBay, most shipping companies. Thank you, Carmen. Okay. The boots. Let me show them to you first, and then I'll try to talk you through what I'm gonna do with them. So here they are. They are tall. You couldn't tell. They are also um, you can delinted because I I store them on tissue in tissue paper. So they're all completely stuffed with tissue paper. These are a 10 wide. They are brand new Torrid boots. The retail price was 125. I got 35 plus shipping. Let's see who they're headed to and where. These are headed to Deborah. I think I have a D initial, so that'll be fun. And she is in Illinois. Illinois? Illinois. 
and she paid $11.95 for shipping. <laughs> so let's see what they weigh first. So I let eBay calculate the shipping on these based on zip code because they were so big and bulky. They do weigh three pounds, 10.2 ounces, 10.1 ounces, 10.2 ounces, 10.2 ounces. So they're going to ship probably at a five pound rate, possibly four. So let's talk about five pounds first. So five pounds, oh, it's actually a lot cheaper than I would have thought through eBay. I really thought I was gonna go through pirate ship. So five pounds in an 18 inch box, that might have to change, um, 18 by eight by 12, that should do us, is only $10.03, which is really good. If it was four pounds, which I don't think we're gonna get away with, it's nine dollars and seventy three cents so it saves us a little bit but not very much at uh, twenty nine cents options as far as boxes I've already checked the shoe box the shoe box won't fit I knew that but I figured if I could put two end to end they're very they're about like this big by like this deep and wide that won't work I would have had to put four together and that's just a lot of <laughs> cutting open cardboard and I have a cardboard cutter. I don't use it very often, but I have it. It's just not right here. So that's already out. Sometimes people suggest things. I'm like, oh, my brain just didn't think of that. So I'm trying to think about all of the options. I think my best option is going to be a box, a robe box or a blanket box I just got at Target. So hold on, I've got to go grab that. So here are some box options. I just organized all of my boxes after the big target buy. So thankfully I can get in and out of there pretty quickly. This is a blanket box from Target. They were 90% off. This is specifically why we went to Target. These were $2.50 a piece, but we paid 25 cents. I try to stock up on these because they are awesome. <laughs> awesome. The other option I have, I might have to put two of these together. These are 16 by 12 by eight. So we'll see. If they don't work in here, I'm hoping they work in here. I might have to put two together, I might not. So let's do some packaging of them. Tissue paper, a bike box, a bike, a bike bag, that's what that's called. Let's get our lint roller. If you don't have a lint roller, but you have a label maker, you can just hit the button. It prints out a blank label because it feeds it out. And then you can just loop it around and I use these all of the time. They're a really good option as they are actually cheaper than the lint rolls. I'm gonna wrap them up anyway. But they are brand new, so I want to make the best presentation I can. I'm so glad Deborah bought these. They're so nice. And these were part of my thread up. 50 pairs of shoes for $2.50, I think it was. So $5 a pair, of course. I won't get that for all of them. A few got donated or, or thrown out. Some were really bad. They couldn't be donated. But I took out the shoelaces. as I saved what I could. It's just, I think, one pair that got thrown out. A couple pairs got donated, but overall it was a really good box. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Let's tie these and then I'll, I'll wrap them up with tissue first and then put them in the bag. I'm really excited about the bag. not going to be perfect but it will cover mm, maybe 
<laughs> we might need two pieces. Let's cut one in half. Let's just cut two pieces. to make my items feel like little surprises even though you've ordered them so it's not like you're really that surprised but it's always fun to get a package even Amazon stuff Amazon had a $15 coupon for any household item um, in that category of course like cleaners and stuff for $50 so we stocked up on some soap I use for my face. It's like antibacterial soap and just a whole bunch of things. So I'm really excited to get it. <laughs> I think Cottonelle is part of that. So we have some toilet paper coming. Very exciting stuff. But seriously, when boxes show up, it just saves a trip. It's so easy and nice. Okay. You'd never guess what this is, right? It'd be a big surprise. There's one. Should I try to wrap it the other way? Maybe that'd be the better way. Let's try it this way. Okay, ribbon. Let's do some blue tool. We're going to need a lot of it. That's okay. Come on, these scissors. I need to get the aqua scissors, I keep forgetting. It's gonna be a good size though. Perfect. There's one. <laughs> you know it's bad when scissors don't cut a tool. It's just netting. love to know how other people would shift these. If you have a good idea. Okay. This, this looks a little. There we are. See? What am I going to do with those? I don't know. Sorry, person who called me out on that. Next, let's open the box first and then lay the bag down. I am so excited about these bike bags. My husband is six foot six. He's huge in real life. And he could see the top shelf of Target. He's like, there's all sorts of stuff up here still. And he was probably the only one who could just see that because he's that tall. So we got a ton of ribbon, a whole bunch of bike bags. He's like, you want all of these? You know they're for bikes. I'm like, oh yeah, I've got plans. Come on. That should be the thumbnail right there. Perfect. So let's put these in a bag. The bike bags were $4 originally. And so I got them for 40 cents, which is more expensive than a trash bag, which is normally what I go for. But I wanted to try these. They're huge. They are huge. I think they're a lot bigger than what I was even thinking. Oh my god. <laughs> they have like a party of people in these. This is taller than I am. This is going to be a big... That's so funny. These would be really good saved as drop cloths. Bear and I just um, glazed our countertop. We put a pr protective top coat on it. It's hysterical. These are way too big. Still going. Okay, bike bags might have been a silly idea. I ever sell a bike though. Okay. 
Let me put a, what am I gonna put in here? <laughs> oh, I know what to do. I am going to put a notebook. We have some pineapple themed items that one of my subscribers sent me. Some business cards, of course, of course. This is the other way. And now, should I cut this off? That's hysterical. I think I'm gonna cut it off. not just 24 feet of, of trash bag. I might have been able to cut some more, but we'll see. I'm just always twirling this around, just like you're creating a bun in your hair. So taped down, it's not too bad. I will save that piece as a drop cloth, though. tape around this. This is the box we're looking at, so I'm going to go ahead and weigh this. I'm going to go ahead and weigh this and get measurements. I probably will put this in a poly mailer. This is four pounds, 10.2 ounces. So even with a poly mailer, it will be under five pounds. So I round up to five. I could put the exact weight, but again, that's the same. And my tape measure. This is, let's put this on inches, 13 and a half, so I'm going to go 14 by 19 and a half, so let's do 20 by 4. So let's see if I can remember that. 19, not 119, just 19, by 14 by 4. Is that right? That is correct. Let's see. So it is $10.03. So I'm going to purchase and print. And this is our very last label. And print. And back to my Dymo. And print. I have this wrapped. <laughs> I have this wrapped in a poly mailer now. It just makes it a little bit more sturdy. And where did my label go? I set my label down. Here we are. There we are. And that was my very last item of tonight. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. If you have any other ideas or just want to tell me something, feel free to leave a comment or email me. Thank you all. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.